Okay, so by request, I am going to make a tutorial. I was going to say quick. I'm not sure if it's going to be quick. Um, on how I had multiple singers singing. Some were, some weren't at different times and how I did that. Um, I can't play this audio on YouTube, so I'm going to show you how I, I'm going to show you how to do that with an approved audio. But I just want to show you my timeline. Okay, it's kind of messy, so don't judge. But what I do is I go out to a free website where you can separate your audio and your instrumental. Um, I know there's other apps to do that. I don't know. <laughs> I just Googled. I found this one and it worked really well. So what I did is I brought in um, the instrumental right here, which was just the music. Then I brought in a track that was just the vocals. And you can see that that's at 100, so it's full volume. And I turned this down because I was afraid it would play <laughs> on YouTube, um, but this would be at 100. Then what I have is I have three characters, one, two, three. I, I duplicated the audio track of the vocals three times. One for the lead vocalist, and two more for the backup singers. And then what I did is I lip synced them to those characters. So if you look at this first part, you see this guy on the left, vocal singer one, is singing, the other two are not. Then as I go along, vocal singer three starts to sing immediately followed by the third one and all of them are singing. Then there was a time in the audio that it was just the backup singers singing. So I turned off the audio link syncing to the first guy. Then he came back on in the song. So uh, that looks like it disconnected. And so now they're all singing again. So let me show you how I did that. Okay, I had to stop and come back because I accidentally played the music and I don't want YouTube to get mad. So this is just the duplicate project and what I'm gonna do is I am going to delete all of that audio. And then I'm gonna bring in the song that is from YouTube, so should be okay. Now what you see is this is going to be the instrumental. And then this is when the vocals come in. So we're going to get right to that part. What I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate the vocals three times for the three characters. I'm just going to use Command D, Command D, Command D. You can also hit duplicate or, um, yep, you can hit duplicate there. Then I'm going to rename each one of them. This is going to be singer one, one. This is going to be singer two. And this is going to be singer three. Now what I have is I have the vocals up to the full volume. The instrumental has full volume. I am going to make the other three no volume because we don't need to hear it, the, vol uh, the vocals at four times the normal volume. It's not going to affect the lip, lip syncing, but you'll still have it here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to lip sync singer one. So I'm going to select singer one, click down on my mouse, sync. Now watch his voice, his um, mouth is moving. 
the other two are not. Now say I want the second one to join in at this vocal. First, I'm going to cut that. Then I'm going to select the second part and sync that with two. Now watch what happens. He starts to sing. He is not singing. So he's going to join the group here. So again, I'm going to cut it and then I am going to lip sync with three. Now they're all singing. Now there was a time in my other one where I didn't have the lead singer singing. So you guessed it, I'm gonna cut it and I'm not going to lip sync that. So now these two are singing, he is not. We want him to join back in. I'm going to cut it and then lip sync with one. Now his, boy, his mouth is moving as well as the other two. So you just keep going through whoever needs to be singing in the song. Um, if you have a lead singer and backup singers, then you can just cut the audio and just select no lip sync for the parts that you don't want them to lip sync. And let's see, let's start it here. Now, obviously, there was still only one singer. I didn't go through the whole song to figure out who to sync it to, but just to show you how to do it. So hopefully that helps.